Hey guys, this is Claudia here from The Bookkeeping Expert. I've been a bookkeeper for a long time and I have clients coming up to me with all kinds of questions. Today, the question is how to record cash transactions in QuickBooks Online. Um, a, lot of, a lot of my clients um, receive money like even in, with Square transactions or even, you know, just receive payments in cash and they don't know what to do with it or how to record it. That's what we're going to talk about. Here we go. Okay, first, we're going to go in QuickBooks and we have our Craig's Design and Landscape Service, which is a SEMP com company from uh, QuickBooks. And we're going to record. First of all, we, we need to make sure we open a bank account for, to control the petty cash. Uh, so on the left-hand side menu, we're going to go ahead and click on Chart of Accounts. Okay. And I already created the petty cash. As a matter of fact, there's even transactions in there. But to create a new, on the top right-hand side, you want to go ahead and click on New. It's a bank account, cash at hand, and then you can leave it at cash at hand, or I call it petty cash. A lot of companies will call it petty cash. And then Save and Close. All right. Okay, so first of all, um, if you have Square transactions and you have Square linked with QuickBooks Online, those cash transactions will migrate into QuickBooks. And how, how it does is to see those transactions, you're going to click on Banking and then you're going to go to App Transactions and you're going to go to Square and you have to accept the transactions that are migrating. And when you accept, it should go to undeposited funds. Or, and so when you click on the left-hand side and then you click on bank deposit, you see all kinds of undeposited funds there for cash transaction. And you don't know what to do with it. So this is how you record it. You're going to select the transactions that were paid with cash. Okay. And then you, when you scroll, uh, when you go over here, you want to make sure that it's under petty cash. And, and then you're going to save and close. Okay. So we have the transactions uh, coming through. So some of them, let's suppose that those transactions that are entered in, in my petty cash, there's actually a little bit more than that are uh, transactions coming from Square. It would say Square actually here, but anyhow. And uh, now we, we, we want to record those transactions that maybe was not imported with Square, or maybe you don't have Square. You don't have Square apps, so we, you never recorded those transactions. So how do you record those transactions? So. Uh, if, it's, if it is a sale and it's a cash transaction, uh, you can click on the plus new and you can select sales receipt. Difference between sales receipt and the invoice is that the sales receipt is already recording the payment. So you don't have to record the sales receipt and then the payment. You can go straight to sales receipt. So skip a step. Since you're dealing with cash, you already have the cash. You don't have to create an invoice unless... Uh, you have multiple payments from the client, multiple cash payment from the client, um, and then you would create an invoice and, and record the, the multiple payments that way. But if that's not the case, then we're going to create a sales receipt. Okay, I'm going to select the client here. Um, let's see, Diego Rodriguez, and let's select the product. I'm going to say gardening. And I charge him a thousand dollars for his gardening. Okay, that was kind of a big project. Mm, that's good. Okay, so we're not gonna send it. We're just gonna save it for QuickBook purposes, unless you ha you want to send it to the client and record. Yes, you can send it to. Uh, but we, for our purposes here, is just for recording in QuickBook. And one thing that I wanted to notice is that I'm going to send this to undeposited funds so that I can actually record the deposit. It's just the workflow in QuickBooks. So uh, if it is an invoice, you record the invoice, you record the payment going into undeposited funds, 
Then you record the deposit and you match it in banking. Okay, so with sales receipt, what you're going to do is first you're going to record the sales receipt and it's already recording the payment and it's going to go straight to undeposited funds. Then I'm going to record the, the deposit to the petty cash in this case. And then there's no matching because this is, this is a, a manual transaction. Petty cash is a manual transaction. Unless you enter here manually, QuickBooks is not going to be, uh, is not going to know, is not going to be updating your cash transaction unless you record. Or if you have an app, it has to be um, uh, synchronized with QuickBooks. So we recorded this. We're going to, uh, we're already saved. So we're going to get out of here. And we send it to on deposit funds. So I gotta record the deposit. Click on the plus new. Click on bank deposit. And uh, we're gonna leave it as petty cash. So if it was in checking, you gotta change that because keep in mind, if you unless you deposit this money exactly uh, the, with the amount that you receive into the checking account, we're gonna record this to petty cash. A lot of a lot of errors, I should say, or um, confusion here from uh, clients is that you know you have all these undeposited funds, and a lot of them could be maybe a app transaction such as Square or other transactions, and uh, they don't know what to do with it, so they record it into checking, and then when we reconcile the checking account, we don't see those cash transactions because they. Those that money was never deposited. Maybe on a money the uh, money stack stack or something, but you never deposit into the bank. So yeah, if you haven't deposited into the bank, you do not want to put into your record into your bank account. If if not, you can't reconcile. Like I said, you want to put that into the petty cash account, right? So now we're gonna select that transaction from Diego. We want to make sure that the date is correct. And we're going to go ahead and save and close. So we recorded that transaction into the Patty Cash. And look at my balance in, pa in Patty Cash. By the way, the way I got here on the left-hand side menu, accounting and chart of accounts. Your chart of accounts is it's where you find all your accounts. And if you want to see what's going on to a certain account, you can click on View Register. And voila, see that um, $1,000 here deposited in, into Patty Cash. Okay, so I have all this money in my Patty Cash. I don't like to hold cash, do you? <laughs> I don't know. Well, maybe you do, but I don't. If not, it's going to fly away. I don't want that. <laughs> so I'm going to transfer that um, into my bank account. So I'm actually going to go to the bank. And I'm going to deposit some of this money, not everything, because I need to maintain some of that cash on my cash stack for change and things like that, right? So now what? What is the next step? So we're going to go ahead and record a transfer. So on the top left-hand side menu, click on the plus, we're going to record a transfer. Okay, so you want and you deposit the money into the bank, you want to record this in QuickBooks. So we're going to take this money out of Petty Cash and we're going to record that it was deposited into the checking account. Okay. So um, let's suppose it was a thousand dollars. Okay. So we got a thousand dollars. Save and close. Let's get out of here. And the next step would be to go into the bank account and match it to that $1,000, okay? I do not have $1,000 here because this is a sample account. But um, let's suppose that actually I deposit, because I have a deposit here for, let's see here, $55. There you go. $55 here. So let's go ahead and put $55 here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and transfer that amount of money so that you can see how we match it in banking. So let's record that transfer again. So, 
see, this money was August 2nd. Wow. Uh, QuickBooks is ahead, a month ahead. <laughs> so, plus new. We're going to do a transfer. Uh, we're going to do it from Patty Cash. We're taking money out of Patty Cash, putting in checking. $55. Kind of funny. It's going to be on August 2nd, next month. <laughs> or predicting the future here. Okay, so save and close. We're going to X out of here. Hey, look at this. I wanted you guys to see this. So when you go to checking, voila, here is a transaction. Here is a transfer that I recorded. And it wants to match it. And I know that it's right. So you can actually have question. You can open up, click on the number, click on transfer. And voila, this is what we just recorded. We can go ahead and click on match, right? So if I go back to my chart of account, you see that on the petty cash, I only have now $520. You click on view register, you see that I took a thousand, um, I deposited a thousand dollars and then I took, well, this, this happened before, but recently on this video, we recorded that $1,000 plus that $55 uh, transaction. So what if you you went ahead Which and you used the cash to purchase something or to pay somebody? Um, how do you record that? Okay, so on the top right hand side, plus new, we're gonna go ahead and record an expense. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and say that we pay the, Bob, Bob's Burger Joint out of Patty Cash. Let's suppose that today I felt like giving my workers a reward. So we went to Bob, Bob's Burger Joint and uh, we purchased meal. Okay. Um, it's meal and entertainment. The difference between meal and entertainment, by the way, and travel meal is because. Um, Travel meal is 100% deductible and it's only used when you're actually traveling. And meals and entertainment, which should be just meals, by the way, it's um, only deductible at 50%. But here, we're going to say that we spend, let's say, $100. Nah, let's make it $90. Okay. All right. So it's not billable, by the way. And there's no customer. There's no customer here. So that's just the burger joint. And uh, we're going to go ahead and save and close. And I X out of here. And if we go out and go back in, you see that we had $90 been taken out of the burgers, uh, Bob's burger joint. Remember, with Patty Cash, as far as reconciling the account, you need to keep some kind of record of what is going on. So if you have Square, that's great. And then if you have any money that you're paying people cash, uh, make sure you, you keep some records of that. And, and, and then maybe, you know, uh, if you have a receipt or something, you want to download it to QuickBooks and attach to that account expense account so that's that's one way for you to do it just keep records of what's going on and then you would reconcile that as um, you reconcile bank, bank account so I'm gonna put the ending balance now let's suppose <laughs> let's suppose that you look at your 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 cash account at the end of the day and you realize that you have three hundred dollars Okay, but here it says 430, but let's suppose that the remaining 130, maybe you just use it, I don't know, you, you know, it's cash, <laughs> use it to buy something that is not business related. How do I record that? Okay, well, that's simple. <laughs> okay, so we're going to record that this money uh, and we're going to do a transfer again. Okay, and we're going to transfer money from the petty cash now to an account called owner's draw. 
Uh, it, we don't have it here, so we can add new here. I have, I have it on here. We just have two equity account, but okay. So we're gonna add new, and we can do it from here from the chart of accounts. But here is really simple. So we're gonna create an equity account because this is money that went to my personal expense has nothing to do with business so we're going to create an equity account and that equity account is the um owner's distribution we call it personal expense there you go uh, some people call owner's draw some people call personal expense uh, but that's how we track expenses that were made you know that was not business related so we're gonna go ahead and save and close and we're gonna say a hundred and fifty dollars of this money and uh, that's the date here so we're gonna save and close we're gonna X out of here and I'm, I'm just gonna click the back to chart of accounts just to reset and then we're gonna view register again and voila oh by the way my math was incorrect. <laughs> I said I had $300. So I didn't have to take um, that amount of money. It wasn't $150. It was $130. How do I correct that? Hey, you can actually click right on the edit here. And voila, I'm going to put it $130 instead. Save and close. Oh, by the way, with uh, QuickBooks, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna show up here. So you have to click on back, back to chart of accounts, and then view register. Voila! I fixed it! Yay! <laughs> There's more than one way to fix that. By the way, guys, um, you can also click on the plus new transfer. Remember the counterclock? Yeah, it will bring me all the past transaction, and here it is. I can fix it here too. So isn't that cool? Super cool. So it's a shortcut. So by the way, you can do it with just about everything. Um, invoices, sales receipts, just click on the uh, bank deposit on the counter clock and voila, you can see all the transactions that you've done recently. Okay, well, I hope <laughs> that this was useful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to write down the comments down below. If you, if you need help, uh, we've been doing this for a long time. So uh, if you want to hire us to clean up your books, you can do that. We're, down below is our phone number. You can contact us. We can, I, you can either hire us to teach you how to do it, or you can hire, hire us to clean up your books and then uh, help you maintain the book. Uh, whatever works for you, uh, we're here for you. So down below, you feel free to contact us. You can call us. You can send us a text and uh, we can set up a time, a video chat um, that, uh, that you can hire us to instruct you on how to, how to use QuickBooks, um, how, how, how to uh, record transaction or whatever you need answer to or how to fix a big mess that you in, ended up inheriting and you have no idea, no clue on how to fix it. Uh, contact us. And, uh, and we'll be able to help us. Uh, I'm sorry. And we'll be able to help you. <laughs> All right. If you like this content, if this video, please click on the like button. Share with your friends. Uh, we would like to help as many people as possible. But in order for us to continue bringing this kind of content, we need you to like our videos. We need you to share um, so that th we can continue bringing that. So subscribe to our channel. We're going to be bringing this uh, kind of content quite frequently. And uh, we would like to know how we're doing. So write down a comment below. Uh, thanks for watching this video. We hope to see you again soon. Until then, keep smiling. <laughs>